All right, so I recently finished Dawn, book one of the Xenogenesis trilogy by Octavia E. Butler. This is uh, what you're, the picture you're looking at right now is the, uh, is the picture that I got when I, um, when I got it on Amazon Kindle. But there's a lot of other pictures that I think are better than this, but that I recently saw when I looked up the book. But this is the picture that I got. So I'm going to give you the rundown. I'm going to give you the average rating on Goodreads. And then I'm going to fill it in the rest of the way for me. So the summary is that Lilith uh, Iapo had just lost her husband and son when an atomic fire consumes Earth, the last stage of the planet's final war. Hundreds of years later, Lilith awakes deep in the hold of a massive alien spacecraft piloted by the Onkali, who arrived just in time to save Earth from extinction. They have kept Lilith and other survivors asleep for centuries as they learn whatever they could about Earth. Now it is time for Lilith to lead them back to her homeworld, but life among Onkali on the new, newly resented planet will be nothing like it was before. Onkali survive by genetically, genetically merging with primitive civilizations, whether their new hosts like it or not. For the first time since the nuclear holocaust, Earth will be inhabited, grass will grow, animals will run, and people will learn to survive the planet's untamed wilderness. But their children will not be human, not exactly. So, okay. That was a very, very rough summary. Um, Goodreads has it at a... Uh, a 4.16 uh, out of 5 stars. Uh, that, that's pretty close to what I gave it. This is the first um, the first book in the trilogy. I have not finished the trilogy yet. So I will be rating this book based on... As it's a novel. Like, oh, do I want to continue reading the trilogy or not? So basically Lilith, you know, is in a, uh, is in a cell. And, you know, she's asked all these questions by the Ankali. Uh, she, you know, eventually one of them joins her and is described as having like tentacles on its head and everything and being uh, repulsive and disgusting. And, and Lilith is grot grossed out by the book or by the Ankali. And she just, you know, doesn't want anything to do with it. But it tells her that it's not going to let her out until it can, you know, uh, be with it comfortably. So. They're in there for about a week or whatever, and then, you know, she's able to eventually, you know, be with it and not be frightened as much. So, it lets her out. It takes her to his home. It, his, it's, hers. The, the gender thing was a little bit on and off for me. I think I get it, but I don't really. But uh, it takes her to its home and uh, introduces it to, you know, its mate, and then there's another one. And then there's a like a little child, Nikaj, who is, becomes main character. Uh, Lilith is tasked with uh, being with Nikaj, you know, until she grows up and everything. So Lilith and Nikaj, you know, they they're together. You know, or Nikaj starts to grow more attached, you know, to Lilith, and and then Nikaj tells her that she's going to um, grow up soon and get her sensory arms and everything and well I, I you know I keep calling Nakaja her but it ends up being a he um I don't know why I I called it a her almost the whole time even though I read he multiple times uh Nikaj um gets the sensory arms Lilith stays with it uh Nikaj gets you know his two mates a girl and a guy I think and they all go to a new house with Lilith, you know, and then Lilith is placed in a um, another like giant hall area, and she's tasked with the uh, the task of awaking forty humans, getting them ready to be able to work together so that they can go back home on Earth and survive. So. Lilith, you know, starts to wake him up very slowly, you know, first trying to get um, uh, people she could trust to uh, side with her before she wakes up anyone who could, like, get uh, get her. But the Ankali have 
genetically altered her to be stronger and faster and stuff like that. So she wakes someone named Tate first, gives her a couple days to get, you know, get with it. Then she starts waking one or two people at a time. Then she, uh, then, you know, she starts doing 10 at a time. People start to get rowdy because it's, they want to get out. They want to go home. They don't really believe that they were captured by, um, aliens oh my gosh this book was published in 1987 okay i did not know that i thought it was more recent anyway um so they um they learn to work together and lilith tells them that now that they're able to work together that they could go off and um go to a little training area that resembles the amazon forest and learn how to build shelter and farm and all this so the Ankali take them to the um the practice field and the practice field looks a lot like earth like it's got mosquitoes bugs snakes all sorts of things it looks so much like earth that um the people believe that they are on earth so you know they you know they run away in packs trying to get away from the onkali as much as they can but lilith already knows that they're still on the ship up in space and she tells them that, but no one trusts her because of how much she, how different she is from the other people. So, uh, the core group of her friends that, you know, the first of the first ones that she awoke, um, they come to her and they tell her that they want to leave, you know, and there's one of them there. His name is Joseph, who is, uh, Lilith's, uh, mate, you know, they, they, um, they were paired together by the Ankali, Ankali and they were, um, Joseph was one of the ones who wanted to leave as well. So because of Joseph, Lilith, you know, she agrees to leave with them, even though she knows they're on a ship and that they're not going to be able to go very far. They leave and, um, they eventually meet up with the other guys who left. And one of them, Kurt hates Lilith. So he knocks her unconscious and when Lilith wakes up, you know, Nikaj is by her and she's like, where is everybody? Where's Joseph? And she runs and she meets up with Joseph and he's dead. His head is cut off and uh, he's dead. And Lilith is angry. She wants to kill Kurt. They all go back to where the humans are and they're all like, well, we're going to fight the aliens. And Lilith is like, that's not a good idea, but they do it anyway. And the Ankali dominate they don't kill anybody they just knock them unconscious they drug them and um kurt manages to slice off nikaj's uh sensory arm which is a really bad injury so uh lilith is ordered to lay down hold the sensory arm to the stump and have it uh regrow itself which she does uh she has to lay down naked next to it and uh, Nikaj, you know, her tentacles inject into her and uses her body to sort of learn how to regenerate cells and all that. So they do that. You know, all the all the rest of the humans that are awake see that. So any trust that they had in her is now gone. Um, when she finally wakes up after being unconscious for like a week, she wakes up and all the humans that were there with her are back on earth she was told by the Ankali that all the humans are back on earth so Lilith is kind of upset because she was also promised to go with them to earth but Nikaj told Lilith that she didn't let her go to earth to save her because they were plotting to kill her once they were all on earth anyway so Lilith is told that she has to train the next group uh, at the very end of this book, you know, he said, he said, uh, Nakash said, you'll be able to go to um, Earth with the next group. And that's basically where, uh, where the book ends. Um, I tore through this book. It, it literally took me like a week, a week to read it. Gar uh, granted, it's only like 250 pages. But um, it only took me a week to read it. I don't know if I enjoyed it. Or if it was just a palate refresher from the last book I read. I enjoyed it. And I ended up... Hmm. Let's see what my... 
I ended up giving it a three out of five star rating on Goodreads because that was a 10 minute, that was like a five minute summary I just gave you. You, you know, it, it's really good at the beginning. You start, the more you learn about um, the Ankala and what Lilith is doing and everything. And it gets to a point where it starts to drag out, like nothing too major. Uh, but it gets to a point where it starts to drag out. And that's why I dropped it from a four to a three. Um, granted, this is the beginning of the trilogy. Was it enough to make me want to continue reading? Yeah, I think I'll pick up the second book and read it. And then I think I'll, if I do that, I'll just finish the trilogy. But the first book does have a, a spot close to the middle where it starts to drag, you know. And, uh, and then it just it kicks right back into it once uh, Lilith starts awakening the other humans and they train. But, um, yeah, I must have missed this in the very beginning of the book when it described Lilith. But I had no idea um, Lilith was a black, black at all. I, because I didn't, because as you can see by the picture of the, uh, which there's plenty of different pictures here which show Lilith on the cover. This one does not. It does not show um, the author, who is also a black lady, Octavia E. Butler, which I i don't know. I didn't know. So I didn't, you know, until at one point, Nikaj says something along the lines of, we thought you would get with uh, one of the darker people who look more like you. And then I was like, oh, okay. I must have missed that the first time. But yeah, it's... Uh, it's a really it's really good it's a really good book three stars out of five and then I guess we'll see where the second one goes now I don't know when I'm gonna get to the second one but I hope that I will be able to get it done soon if you've made it this far thank you if not I understand um, I will see you next time